Hey everybody, uh, this is Preet. Uh, I was goofing around on Google Motion Charts and I wanted to uh, show you how to use one of them uh, with some data that I had provided. So this is just to show you how to use the Google Motion Charts. I went to Norbert Schlinker's website, Libra Investment Management, got his um, asset class return spreadsheet and uh, plugged them into my own spreadsheet and um, simulated the growth of $1 versus uh, sorry, for all these different asset classes here. So uh, cash or three month T-bills, a diversified portfolio, gold, long bonds, the EFI, SP 500 and uh, TSX. Essentially what the motion chart does is it visualizes data. And in this case, uh, it's over time. So what you'll notice is on the Y axis and the X axis, it's both set to the growth of $1. So it's always gonna move along this plane, all these different data points. Now, if all the data points are the same color, it's a bit confusing. So if you see here, there's a lot of things you can change. One of them is the color of the data points. So if you set them to be unique colors, then each asset class has its own unique color. Hit the play button again, it's a little bit easier to decipher. Um, if you hover over data points, it will give you the values as well as the label over time. So that's easy if you want to track one, or all you can do is click on one of these uh, checkboxes here. So for example, by clicking on the diversified portfolio, it's always going to be highlighted. This trails box will basically create a trail of the data um, where it's been and so you can track it over time and you have sort of the, the history. And you can do that for as many different asset classes as you want. Now, um, you can change a number of different things as I said before. So you can change the Y axis, uh, axis and actually in this case you can't uh, for this particular chart, but you can change the x-axis. Uh, so if we change this to time, then what we have, and let me just deselect all of these. So now if you press the play button, you can see the vertical travel will give you the growth of $1. So it goes up, you're making money, it goes down, you're losing money. So this is the value of $1 invested in each of these um, different asset classes or in, in one particular case, a diversified portfolio. So you can see that, well, the diversified portfolio was the was the winner even though it was uh, the least dramatic which I think is probably old hat by now for a lot of people but in any case um, there are other things you can take a look at so you can change the uh, the size of the data points uh, just to reinforce uh, you know the growth of the one dollar over time the bigger the data point gets there's more money basically in that asset class of portfolio um, you can also change this from a I don't know even what you call this uh, bubble chart to a column chart now what I would do in this case is if you just leave it at, at the default settings these bars are going to move all over the place because they're the order is determined by the value so the biggest value is going to be on the left and so whatever you can see how these colors change because different asset classes take different rankings over time so what I would do in this case if you just sort of set it to the alphabetical order then they remain static and in this case it's very helpful to put all the labels so you can see over time the growth of one dollar in these various different asset classes or in the diversified portfolio um, you can see which ones are more volatile than others and which ones ended up doing better now this is a remember a time span from 1970 to 2011 and the last type of chart you can have is a line chart you can't really do anything in this setting at all uh, it just gives you here's your here's your line chart but it gives you you know the historical representation over time and and that tells you other things. So visualizing, visualizing data is pretty cool. Uh, play with the spreadsheet or the, uh, the motion chart as you wish. And uh, I will make the spreadsheet available later on in a different blog post. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.